Hey everybody, this is my 20 gallon open topped office tank and I recently did a pretty big water change on this tank. I did about a 50% water change and in it I tested the nitrate level before and after the water change and the vial looked pretty much identical in the before and the after. It was pretty much red on both occasions and I had several comments about the API test kit not being accurate and people saying that the API nitrate test kit is notorious for not being accurate and I've heard that a lot over the years from a lot of different people although I've got to say that's never been my personal experience and so what I did tonight was after uh, that water change I decided to look into the nitrate test a little bit more and see whether we could bring the nitrates down by doing another water change so what I did was I simulated a 50% water change I scooped eight ounces of water out of the tank and then I added eight ounces of fresh tap water which again would have simulated another 50% water change in this tank and this is what the nitrate now looks like and I know it's kind of hard to tell uh, just holding it up in the air like this but we're definitely down into the orange this is about maybe 30 parts per million on the nitrate so that is about right what it turns out is that the nitrate in this tank was a lot higher than I expected so if we started at say 120 parts per million nitrate and I did a 50% water change that would have left it at 60 parts per million nitrate which on an API test kit is still nice and red and so if I did another 50% water change on top of that it would have brought us down to about 30 parts per million so again that seems about right we probably started at about 120 uh, parts per million or, or maybe even a little bit higher than 120 parts per million and I've now brought it down to uh, about 60 and again this test here we're looking at is from my simulated water change that's 50% water from the tank and 50% fresh water so the tank still has probably about 60 parts per million nitrate and I suspect a lot of people when they are saying that the API test kits aren't accurate are saying that for those kinds of reasons I'm sure some people out there have had inaccurate tests I'm sure some people uh, compare the API test to other tests I mean if you're going to do side-by-side -side comparisons and you can see that your CCHEM test is giving you, you know, consistent results and then you keep checking with your API and you're getting inconsistent results or different results. But I've checked tanks over and over again. I've never gotten inconsistent results. I've never checked it once and gotten, you know, high levels of nitrate, but then checked it again. And suddenly it's down to 20 part. And it's, I've never had an experience where I questioned the accuracy of the test except in circumstances when I was first keeping fish I would do stuff like this I would do you know I, I'd, I'd get a vial that was red I'd do a great big water change I'd take a test and the vial would still be red and then I would do another water change and the vial would still be red and I would just inspect you know, it's got to be these this stupid API test kit. Is, and it's not. I, you know, when I looked at the tanks, when I first started keeping fish, I think about how overly stocked and heavily stocked and how much I used to feed those tanks. I probably had nitrates in the hundreds of parts per million in some of those tanks. And if I waited a day between water changes, I probably just negated everything I did from the, the water change the day before. So my... You know, my bafflement, my pulling all my hair out, trying to figure out why I could never bring these nitrate levels down is because, first of all, I didn't understand the fact that once you get over 40 parts per million, it just turns red, and trying to discern different shades of red is virtually impossible. So, you know, all I knew was that I just always had red vials. No matter how many water changes I did, I had red vials. And eventually I came to realize it's not the vials not working right. It's the nitrate in my tank is just way higher than I thought it was. And I suspect that's the case with a lot of people. A lot of people are saying, this can't be right. You know, I got a red vial, so I did a big water change and I've still got a red vial. That can't be right. And the idea that that can't be right is what a lot of people go on, you know. 
So do a little bit more experimenting when you do that. If you get, you know, a red vial after you've done a water change, do uh, another water change or check your tap water, check your source water. Uh, that baffled me for years. I live in a fairly rural area. I have well water. I grew up on, you know, municipal water. So having well water was something I never really thought about. And after a year of trying to get my nitrate down uh, to something reasonable, somebody suggested checking my tap water, my source water. And I had about 40 parts per million coming right out of my tap. So nothing I did was ever going to get on top of that. And that caused me grief for probably a year before I figured that one out. So, you know, check your, check your source water. If you keep doing water changes and your, and your nitrates are still higher than you think, you know, they should be. Check your source water or maybe just accept the fact that maybe you got more nitrate in your aquarium than you think you do. Uh, that's always a possibility too. Again, the nitrate is not something that's toxic. It's inert. Having a little bit of nitrate in your aquarium is not going to hurt your fish. And I'm not at all worried about the fact that I've got the 60 parts per million in this tank. The fish are fine and I'll get around to doing a water change again here in another few days. I'd like to bring it down to something more reasonable because remember... When you've got those high nitrate levels in the tank, that means you've got other stuff going on in there too. You've got dissolved organics and waste products building up and hormones from the fish that are being released. And so that nitrate test is a good way of getting an idea of what's going on in the tank. But the nitrate itself is not really going to have a big impact on your fish. So again, I'm not too worried about that. But anyway, your your API test kit is probably not wrong. You probably just have more nitrate in your aquarium than you think you do. So that's my two cents on that. I'd be interested to hear what your experiences are, if you've ever done any kind of comparison with any other kind of test to find out whether they're accurate or if you've gotten varying results. Have you done multiple tests and gotten different results each time you've done it? Because again, I've never experienced that. But that would certainly indicate a faulty test if you're getting different results from the same, you know, sample over and over. You're testing the same aquarium and getting different results. That's, that's a faulty test. So anyway, let me know what your thoughts are. I'd be interested to hear your opinions. Uh, don't forget to check out my other channel, Dan's Outdoors and More. I just posted a video today, a uh, short little catching fish video out on the reservoir. So you can check that out. Make sure you're subscribed over there. Make sure you're subscribed over here. You can join a membership now. And as always, I appreciate any applause that gets sent my way. So thanks for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. I'll see you real soon in the next one.